Hello everybody. While building the empennage I skipped both the rudder and elevator tips. It's now time to finish them. I initially didn't want to work on the elevator and rudder tips because these are made of fiber which is not aluminum and um, I thought it would be horrible but actually it turned out it's, uh, it's quite easy. It's uh, not a big problem. There are some things you have to take into account. Uh, you can go very fast through the glass fiber with a file and with sandpaper, so you have to be careful there. But if you screw it up, it's very easy to uh, make some resin uh, with some flux and um, yeah, fix it. So it's harder to work with, but it's easier to repair if you, if you screw it up. So that's a good thing. So we're now working on the, the elevator tips and um, we have to be careful uh, because there is a, a weight in the front and it has to fit nicely. So it takes a lot of time. It's, it's not, not that hard and it's uh, yeah, but it just takes a lot of time. Uh, especially if you're uh, tending to be a uh, perfectionist. Uh, it's my first time I build a plane so uh, I tend to uh, overdo stuff. But that's okay. I like it. The um, the inside of the tips, uh, because you use uh, pop rivets or pull rivets or blind rivets or whatever you call them, um, you have to make it structurally stronger. So I glue little pieces of aluminum on the inside so if you pull the pop, pop rivet in you don't break the the fiberglass by pulling the, uh, the pop rivet through. So we're now drilling all the parts with the holes that are already in the aluminum. So once everything is fit correctly we use the holes in the aluminum as a guide and uh, drill the fiberglass. And then it's just the first step because uh, then it, it's it's uh, attached, but you still need a lot of work of sanding it down and using an epoxy so that the the um, aluminum really uh, connects nicely with the um, with the fiberglass. So it's kind of a two-step thing. First, you have to get the fiberglass to fit, and then you have to use epoxy resin. And, uh, and sandpaper to make everything yeah, connect together nicely. So I decided to wait for this and not do it while building the elevator because I thought now I can do all the fiberglass in one time. So we do the rudder, we do the horizontal stabilizers and and maybe also the wings. As you can see the, um, the first part is done with the elevators and now we're starting on the um, on the rudder and the vertical stabilizer. Same process. Uh, it's a little bit easier because uh, yeah, it's less work. Although you have to be careful there because sometimes the the prefabricated glass fiber doesn't really match very nicely with the rest so there's a lot of filing and sanding involved here and um, and, and the, the end rips because, because they cannot make it apparently they cannot make it match correctly because every builder has uh, probably you know small differences um, the end part you have to put in yourself so that's a considerable amount of work. Alright, continuing building my pie in the sky. <laughs> 